Thank you. Good evening. Uh, many of you think that uh, we should have more engineers in government so that we can make better decisions. I agree. But there's an also another area where we need more engineers, and that's in Wall Street. Because a lot of big decisions are made there, and you might not expect that many of these decisions are actually made by engineers. Tonight, I'm very pleased to uh, ask you to welcome me, to, to join me in welcoming this year's recipient of Michigan Engineering Alumni Merit Award for Integrative Systems and Design, Dr. Farsi Asa. Farsi's connection with Integrative Systems and Design, or IST, which is the newest division in the College of Engineering, is through financial engineering. That's how he's honored tonight. Farsi is the managing director in the investment management division of Goldman Sachs. He's the head of the strategic and quantitative asset allocation team. He's responsible for strategic asset allocation and quantitative tactical investments. Farsid was instrumental in developing multi-factor based trading strategies in leading this unit. What this all means is that he knows a lot of math and he's using it in a good <laughs> way. Now in fact, uh, Farsid is also an adjunct professor and program fellow at the Quran Institute of Mathematical Sciences at New York University. In fact, he teaches a very popular course called Financial Econometrics and Statistical Arbitrage. And he covers uh, trading strategies using uh, statistical models to identify both opportunities and risks in making decisions. And he's been publishing a lot of papers in very prestigious mathematics uh, journals. Now, for Sid is also a graduate of the Department of Mechanical Engineering. He has a PhD from Mechanical Engineering. And I have to tell you one quick story. Uh, when he was uh, a student uh, for his PhD and also for his uh, financial engineering degree, he got a summer job at Ford Motor Company. Something to do with asset allocations or facility uh, management. And so he ended up working in the Ford headquarters building, big building with seven, eight floors, 10 floors. And so every day he went there and every morning he would go up the elevator with one of the executives or more of them. Sometimes with the CEO, sometimes with some senior VPs. And uh, so he figured, I need to tell these folk what I do. So he practiced with his advisor, Professor Gary Polsoy in mechanical engineering, he practiced his elevator speech. <laughs> he had one minute. So one day, he ran into, I don't know, was it Bill Ford? You have to tell me. Anyway, it was one of those guys. And he went up the elevator and finally he said, well, here's my card. If you want to know more about it, I'm working this summer here. And guess what? He got a phone call to go and make a presentation to the board of directors. And one day you'll tell us what you actually did. But the point is that in spite of all this, when he was done, and although he got a job offer from Ford, he didn't go there. He ended up going to the financial sector where he is now and doing very, very well. So with this, I'd like you to uh, ask you to join me in congratulating the recipient of the 2013 Michigan Engineering Alumni Merit Award for Integrative Systems and Design, Dr. Farsi Hassel. <laughs> 